Viewer discretion is advised. A production crew was conducting an interview with a lead archaeologist at a site. The small Romanesque church could be seen in the background. We're here live at the Benevetto Catacombs, a place recently discovered by this team of archaeologists. What can you tell me about this site? As you can see, we have discovered what might be an ancient holy burial ground of sort related to the Holy See. Days ago, my colleagues unearthed what looked like an armor, or rather a mechanical robot, you could say, along with a mummified body, of whom we believe was an important figure related to the church. That's amazing. So what does this discovery mean for us? What can you say about it? I think the most significant thing we can know for sure is that maybe back in ancient times, during the Renaissance, technology had already advanced at such a pace that… Wait, hold on. Where's everyone going in such a hurry? I don't understand. What's going on? They looked around, confused. Suddenly, an explosion went off and the church came crumbling down. From the ruins emerged a giant mecca and a corpse adorned an intricate vestment perched on top of it. I am the legitimate pope, you lowly scums! The entity proclaimed loudly, then fired two Gatling guns in the air and activated a flamethrower. Burn the heretic! Kill the freak! Purge the unclean! Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today we bring you SCP Foundation Euclid Class Object SCP-6503. SCP-6503, also known as Summus Pontifex Legitimus, aka the Catholic Mecca, refers to the skeletal remains of an unidentified male, dressed in Renaissance period ecclesiastic garments adorned with intricate jewelry made of gold and various precious stones. 6503's anomalous effect triggers when a member of the Catholic faith is within a radius of 16 feet from it. Around 1 in 10 Catholics will become convinced that 6503 is the legitimate pope and that the current sitting pope is a usurper. Regardless of previous religiosity, they will become increasingly devout to 6503 and the Catholic faith. They will also display a desire to help 6503 in reclaiming the Holy See in Rome, even expressing intent to harm the current pope. To this date, there have been no records of aggression against the pope related to 6503. In addition, affected individuals will become obsessed with reuniting SCP-6503 with SCP-6503-2. SCP-6503-2 refers to a 13-foot-tall mechanical construct resembling a suit of 16th century Italian armor, albeit with distorted proportions and a constitution more robust than that of a regular humanoid. Its exterior is composed of an unidentified golden metal of remarkable durability. This durability is likely anomalous in nature, as 6503-2 is capable of withstanding modern heavy fire and artillery without suffering apparent damage. Internally, it possesses a complex clockwork mechanism that grants movement. This mechanism does not require an external power source to function. 6503-2 is armed with an arsenal of weapons, including both medieval bladed and blunt weaponry, as well as anachronistic ones such as Gatling-type guns, flamethrowers, and rocket launchers. The Horizon Initiative is currently investigating its advanced weaponry, with evidence pointing them to be anomalous in nature. 6503-2 is not capable of autonomous behavior. Instead, it possesses a hatch to a compartment, it will remain completely dormant until 6503 is placed inside of it. The Horizon Initiative reported that it will not activate with any other material, pending further testing. Individuals under SCP-6503's influence will try to place the entity inside SCP-6503-2. This will, in turn, give 6503 control over 6503-2. When inside 6503-2, 6503 is capable of vocal communication through unknown means. 6503 and 6503-2 were discovered during an archaeological excavation in a catacomb near Benevento, Italy. They were located within several inches from one another, inside a previously uncharted chamber. Upon discovery, members of the archaeological team came under the influence of 6503. They then placed 6503 into 6503-2, activating it. 6503 emerged from the excavation site, causing considerable damage to historical architecture, and began marching towards Rome. 
It was reported by survivors and confirmed by video evidence that 6503 shouted several phrases in some form of Latin. However, its significance has yet to be determined by Foundation researchers. Hmm, yes, this entity seems to be fixated on being the only Pope. You see this part? In the footage, 6503-2 was seen wading through smoking ruins when it encountered another Romanesque structure, at which point it made another proclamation. A heretical structure. The rebuilds are not canon. Then, a rocket launcher extended from the Mecca's back and fired, obliterating the structure. As 6503 saw people fleeing in the chaos, it began to sob and recite prayers in Latin phrases. The recital was reported to sound benevolent, according to surviving Catholic witnesses. Some of them even stopped running and got down on their knees and joined the prayers. Then, once it stopped reciting, its tone of voice became one that was furious. The Lord forgives everything, but I'm no one but a prophet, so I don't have to. Now, face your punishment and doom, ye heretics and sinners. It then activated the flamethrower and burned everything in the surrounding area. Men, women, and everything caught on fire immediately. Only through the Lord's holy flame can your sins be washed away and be reborn. Upon being informed of 6503's rampage, the Horizon Initiative activated Protocol Gladius Petri, a contingency plan designed to protect the Pope from anomalous threats. His Holiness was secured in a bunker, while the Horizon Initiative deployed the full strength of its combat force against 6503. With aid from the combined forces of the Swiss Guard, the Sovereign Military Order of Malta, and the Italian Army and Air Force. Aircrafts bombarded 6503, while ground troops mounted a fortified perimeter around Benevento to stop 6503 from reaching Rome. However, both aerial bombardment and ground military fire proved ineffective against 6503 due to its high resistance to damage. A squad of Swiss guards and knights of Malta waited entrenched amidst the ruins of destroyed tanks and tactical vehicles. Enter SCP-6503 and its mecha. In a mist from a distance, a huge silhouette advanced towards the squad menacingly. Holy mother of God, is that a freaking mech? We need another run of airstrike now, requesting immediate air support. We're gonna rain hellfire on this impious abomination. The Italian Air Force fired several missiles at 6503. Explosions and smoke engulfed the field. Moments later, 6503 emerged from the smoke without a single scratch or dent. At the sight of this, despair washed over the commander. He began praying the Ave Maria. None shall blaspheme against the Summus Pontifex Legitimus. A rocket launcher emerged from its back and aimed towards the trench. It was an honor to fight alongside all of you. May God forgives us. No, I will not take this lying down, brothers. We must stand up and not give up. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. And so I summon the Lance of Longinus from high heaven to struck down our adversary. He then contacted the Foundation base. Command, requesting orbital strike near our location. We must take down the unholy imposter right now. Guys, take cover. It's gonna be danger close. Suddenly, a 33 feet metallic dart fell from the sky at tremendous speed and pinned 6503's left arm to the ground. It was the Foundation's kinetic bombardment. More darts fell and pinned its other arm and legs. Damn monkeys! Pagan donkeys! A Foundation helicopter arrived and hovered over the struggling mecha. It tried to shoot a rocket at the helicopter, but couldn't aim accurately due to its position. The rocket whizzed by the helicopter. Members of MTF NU-7 deployed ropes and started descending from the helicopters. Do you know who I am? I'm the legitimate Pope, you blasphemous souls. You can't do this to me. God chose me. I am the sword of Peter. The agents managed to open up 6503-2's hatch. Upon removing 6503, the mecha instantly deactivated. A former archaeologist under 6503's influence was then immediately recruited, or rather, detained, as a D-class. A interview was conducted. Let's be frank here. This is more of an interrogation than an interview. 
Tell me everything you know about SCP-6503 this instance. He is the Pope, Pontifex Maximus, Bishop of Rome. He was appointed by God to come here to reclaim his throne and deliver us from Infernum. Being a holy man himself, he realized we were alone, afraid, and very hungry for God's love, and that this imposter is leading us astray. Imposter? You mean the current Pope? To call that imposter that is blasphemy itself, but for the sake of your understanding, I'll allow it. Yes, your current Pope is an imposter, a usurper who must be removed so we can be free from his heresy. Is that why you put the remains in the mech, so that it can murder the Pope? He has to be removed. He is blaspheming against God every minute he claims to be the Pope. There will be no peace for the wicked, for the God wills it. He then fell to his knees and started praying. Whatever you say, pal, just know that we have acquired the mech. And next time this happens, the Pope, our Pope, is going to command that thing himself. For the next time the fires of hell threaten our gates, His Holiness will fight fire with fire. 6503 is to be contained in Site 77, where no working personnel belongs to the Catholic faith. 6503 is to be kept inside a standard reinforced storage container. Under no circumstances should a member of the Catholic faith be allowed within a 5 meter radius of SCP-6503. At least two armed non-Catholic security personnel should always be guarding 6503. Any Catholic individual that has been in proximity closer than 10 meters of 6503 should be given immediate amnestic treatment and kept in observation for a period of two weeks. If despite treatment they still present signs of being affected by 6503, they should be kept under Foundation's detention with maximum security for human-level threats within a Foundation site other than Site 77.